blessed is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God who created heaven and earth, the most gracious and merciful God. And beside thee, thee there's no God, even the Christ. Oh, who can be like an unto thee? None, nobody. Because you are the God of the living, the most gracious and merciful. God who forgives those who love him, even for a thousand years. And today, I'm going to revisit how unfortunate did then President of America Trump lost his election in 2020, or re-election. It was a shock to thousands of Christians and also unbelievers who, through the prophets and the men of God, not only in America, but also many parts of the world, had said that God had shown them visions. Trump was going to win in the last slide. But really, what happened? What really took place? Oh, blessed be God of heaven, even the Christ, because he's the one who gives us this wisdom. Uh, President Trump's failure to win his second term in the U.S. American election 2020, I will say it was self-destruct, because this President Trump, in, a, in an interview, I can say, six years ago through channel CNN, when he was asked his degreeness of Christianity, uh, does he repent? Does he sin? President uh, then elected Trump um, just uh, straightforward way and sad and under song Cooper of CNN that he doesn't think he makes mistakes, he doesn't sin. Uh, so there's no need for him to beg for forgiveness, even before Christ. And um, in Christianity and in believer circles, this means that he's righteous. And he is uh, trying to be righteous, and uh, you can now equal yourself to Christ, which is a sin, and uh, it needs pure and truthful repentance. And uh, in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 23, verse 12, it tells us clearly, Whatsoever yeah, he shall exalt himself, he shall be a best, and he that shall humble himself, he shall be exalted. And uh, this is the nail. This is what God did show Trump. You can have money. You are a billionaire. You've got everything. Evangelical lying to you. And also this was a game changer. Where this evangelical uh, priest, all tele evangelists across the world, they were speaking a lie. And uh, God was just trying to show Trump, if you humble yourself, God himself, he will exalt you. And these false prophets of God, and I had to show those millions of followers who follow them that there's no vision he, he was telling them. They're also lying and uh, God exposed them. And uh, I've said before, if they wouldn't repent, the verdict of these false prophets is death. Okay, let's go to President Trump. President Trump did nobody did without reasonable doubt. And... Uh, that's how I'm saying, by following scripture, God still, I have faith in scriptures, he will bless him. Either a descendant of Trump will be rewarded, whether it will be ruling America. That's what I believe according to scriptures. God himself, he has promised, they shall be... Eh, Prosper or blessed those who pray for the peace of Jerusalem. That's the book of Psalms, chapter 122, verse 6. Yeah, those who pray for the prosper. And Trump recognized Jerusalem as a capital city of people of Israel. Even opening an office, a consul there. 
And uh, in 2018, when uh, nations were voting if Israel is had right to live in that area or the area of Palestine, we can say today, um, America, through Trump, and uh, around three to four countries supported this move, where 150 countries opposed. And if you stand with the children of Abraham, you shall be blessed. Even now, when we go to the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 3, God told Abraham, even at the plains of Mamre, which today is Hebron, I'll bless them, that blesses thee. Yeah? And God is on to say, and uh, I'll curse him, that curses thee. And all the families of the heart shall be blessed in thee. This meaning to us, who trust and who follow the scriptures that although Trump was trying to exert himself and he was the best as, as we have seen in the book of Matthew chapter 23 verse 12 God I believe even if it takes a 50 a hundred years Lord of heaven will bless a descendant of Trump will come to power again because God is honest God and that will happen as we have seen scriptures. And uh, this uh, being proud, exalting himself, that's what led to Trump's downfall, not even to, to be blessed the second time ruling in American politics. Oh my God, all oh, people fear God, all Christian, the electrons in heaven, be repenting all the time. Keep yourself righteous. That's what scriptures prescribes and I believe you'll be blessed even for even more. Oh Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your blessings. And I pray for all Christians, strengthen them, walk with them, be them. Those who are suffering, sickness says, that kind of hardship, free them, even those who keep memory of your name. Because you are God of gods, you are King of kings, you are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning of the and the end. Hey, Holy Christ. Amen, amen, amen.